So I reiterate here, the bill is dead. The story of this great city is about the years before this night. We are great! Hello, welcome to a new episode of Ho Ho Hong Kong. Uh, we're sitting here. It's a beautiful day. I'm Mohammed Magdi. I'm sitting here with my superstar friend. Yeah, Vivek Mobubani. How are you doing, buddy? I, I'm doing pretty good. Still working on the Facebook uh, handle thing. That, so <laughs> are it's you a serious? Mess. Yeah, I'm still working on that. <laughs> so that's going to be a long thing. doesn't matter. It's all wait, good. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, because I think the episode we recorded last week is going to come out next week. Yeah. So that, that whole sequence might be out of whack now. Okay, so, so long story short, I still don't own at Funny Vivek on Facebook. Okay, right, so we, I think at this point, yeah. we should get our listeners to do something about it. Should they start messaging the guy? He, you think he, he that deleted the page? page. He deleted it. What? Yeah. He You're deleted just it. dropping that casually. Yeah. What happened? I have no idea. So like, he stopped responding to you? No, he just deleted the whole page completely. Oh, which means that you can't even contact him anymore. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> when did that happen? That was, like I think, like a couple of days ago. And I was like, so, you know what's funny? We're, this is coming out, obviously, as you guys listening to it now. Yeah. And then next week is going to be the episode when you're like, I'm still trying. Yeah. So, it's like... So, this week, you're going to hear me how he deleted the page. Next week, you're going to hear me how he's like, he responded. Yeah, exactly. Oh, my God. Yeah, so, okay. So. W- when did he delete it? It was a few days ago, but I'm still trying to work out. I'm, I'm fingers crossed is that they have like a, a limbo period of 30 days, and then if nobody owns it, they put the name back out uh, there. Wow. Maybe did he did he resp- like did he say something before he deleted it? Uh, no. I, the funny thing is like he said it was it was in the settings that I'm the admin. Yeah. And I was like, oh, it's not there. So why don't you try this, this, this? And then next thing I know, like he, he deleted just it. gone. Yeah. Yeah. He's like, I don't want this headache anymore. I'm giving him the benefit of the doubt where he was like, you know what's easier if I just delete it and you take it over or whatever right. way you have to do it. And I'm like, okay, it doesn't work Did that way. Did you look up like, if it's in the terms? Like the, if the I name couldn't is find free? the information. I, I, I'm every single day yeah. to try it out. <laughs> so if I find that someone... Do you have his about, email? No. Oh, nothing. damn it. Either way, it doesn't matter. We'll see. It's all good. <laughs> I'm used to it. Anyway, enough about me. Uh, I'm, I'm, the, I'm the victim here. <laughs> speaking of victims, <laughs> perfect segue. Uh, today is a very special interview. So you guys know the deal. Usually we have people who are either very interesting in terms of like the business they run or like they they have a crazy backstory of like doing st- cool stuff in Hong Kong. We have someone who shot to fame very quickly over the last couple of months. Um, also, you guys might think the voice is weird and that's on purpose because actually we're protecting her identity yeah this is how professional we are yeah and mind you this is not thanks to the patreon subscribers no this, this is, is thanks purely to uh thanks to us like kind of saying you know what we got to do the right thing we respect yeah. our guests yeah we make sure it's there and i have this little device that i play with yes so uh we have tracy Tracy, we're only going by first name and tracy we're gonna let you first introduce yourself a little bit who are you um how long have you been living on Lama? You live on Lama. That's quite interesting. Uh, and just talk a little bit about yourself be- before we get into the whole story. Okay. Uh, good morning. I'm intrigued of how I sound. You sound, you sound <laughs> you, very, man. very mysterious. I sound mysterious. Yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. <laughs> uh, yes, I am Tracy. Mm-hmm. I just feel like I am Malala. <laughs> I am Tracy. Yeah. Um, I live on Lama. Uh, the past month has been rather weird, and now I'm here on a lovely sunny Sunday afternoon with you guys. <laughs> well, it's good to know that you, you're famous enough that you only go with one name now, like Cher. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, Tracy. Eminem. Yeah, Eminem. <laughs> <laughs> like, people come to Hong Kong, I'm looking for Tracy, like, oh, okay, we know who that oh, is. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we don't There's need only one Tracy in Hong Kong. I, actually, that's not fair to every Tracy in Hong Kong, because now you're the only Tracy who matters. Oh, you know, it's, it's really weird. I mean... Because I live on Lama, a lovely community, everybody acknowledges everybody else. Yeah. So usually if I'm walking through the village, hi, love. Yeah. Hi, yeah. Pe- how you doing? Hi, Trace. Yeah. Now everybody, hi, Tracy. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's and a, it's a like, tone, oh, my God, it? people are using my name. It's <laughs> right. really bizarre. Right, they know it too well. Yeah. 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 Has anybody done the, the typical joke of oh, we're trying to be Dick Tracy over here, trying to solve crimes? No, but I have um, a one friend, and, and there's a movie... In it, um, and there were, oh, okay, sorry. That's okay, we can swear. It's okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. you can swear all you want. No, 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 I, no, I, um, I, want, I was going to say my surname, but decided against it. That's so, okay. Yeah. You're, you're, um, but there is one person that walks past me every day, and he goes, Tracy, you yeah. know, um, and he walked past me yesterday on the way to the ferry, and he didn't go, 
Casey. <laughs> oh. And and I was I was like, hey you, hey, you, you can't just walk past me without doing it today. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wait, um, is he just like a stalker or something? No, he's a good friend. Oh, he's a good okay, friend. Okay. Yeah. Um, but he's been, you know, he does call it out, and I'm like, shh. Yeah. Stop it. <laughs> Stop it. There are some people that still don't know who I am. And, yeah. You know, we oh, that's actually, they. yeah. Isn't that cool for you? Like, you still like meet people, who, like, they don't know who you are. It's kind of like famous people who travel to other countries and just mm -hmm. enjoy being anonymous. Oh, yeah. But uh, it's it's getting less and less, even though it's a month since the incident. Yeah. yeah. I still see people, and, and it's always very funny because they come up and they go, Tracy, what? Oh, that's you. Yeah. yeah. Or they go, Tracy, what? And I go, Stop. Yeah. Stop yeah. right there. <laughs> and they go, okay, okay, you knew what I was going to ask. Yeah, and then yeah. they go, by the way, did you? And I'm like, stop. <laughs> um, and, yeah, then, yeah. and they say, how do you know what I was going to ask? And I'm like, you want to know what happened? You want to know if I got you've the heard money? It all. Yeah, 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 you've heard it all at this point. Yeah, everyone's, that's all everybody wants. They just want to know what happened. You're like, people, read a paper. Like, right. It's all over there, you know. It's actually funny. I was telling a common friend between Vivek and me last night about uh, the uh, that the interview we're about to do with you, and I was actually pretty excited. I'm like, oh, we have mm -hmm. this person, and he had no idea what I'm talking about. Oh, wow. No idea. He's been living in Hong Kong for a few years, mm -hmm. and he genuinely had no idea. Not just that, like, the, the, the incident on Lama, but the original incident. He didn't know either. He was okay. like, what? What are you talking about? I'm like, this whole thing happened. He's like, yeah, no. Right. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. you're probably the only person in Hong Kong who doesn't know what happened. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, so some people, and even if he does, he probably knows only the initial story of like someone did something. Right, and right. And how did he get arrested? Uh, not my problem anymore. Yeah. I didn't do it. I don't know mm. anything about he it. He is a white guy. He might have been, he uh, might have been the guy. Yeah, that, like, that explains a lot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, maybe that's why he's like, I don't know. What are you talking about? Yeah, exactly. A murder? Yeah, what? What? I've that never heard of that. never happens in Hong yeah, Kong. I wasn't murdering. Like, I, didn't, I didn't say you were, but like, I'm just letting you know I wasn't. It's like, okay, good to know that you're clear about your day. <laughs> so, okay, let's walk through. Through a, a little bit of the timeline here, uh, I actually did not. I should have had this prepared. Do you know the date of the incident, the original incident? Um, no. I think it was either the day before or two days before. But the day. No, no, no. Yeah, like because I know it was on a Monday night. Right. Because so uh, it was a Wednesday night. Then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you met the guy, it was Wednesday night. Wednesday the, lunchtime. Right. Okay. Wednesday lunchtime. So it started. This is actually kind of interesting because. I live on the corner. I've said my address on this podcast many times. At this point, I don't give a shit. <laughs> so I live on the corner of Eastern Street and Queens Road West. Right. I live right there. So, Ouch. yeah. So uh, actually, we're going to go through the timeline because it's in a way we're both like we don't really know each other. But we kind of like the story is kind of completing each other. So I was out doing an open mic on Monday night uh, in Wan Chai. And I go home around 11 a.m. Backstory a little bit. There is construction that is going upstairs, going on upstairs from my house on the fifth floor. I'm on the fourth floor. And it's going on like very loudly every now and then. So when that happens, I have a little dog. And when that happens, I have to get her out of the house the next day so I can go to work because she can't be in the house by herself. So this start, the construction started on Tuesday early morning. Okay. I was already having a nightmare of a day. And I'm texting my friends who can take my dog because I woke up late and all of these things. I arranged a friend to take the dog for the day, and I'm like, all right, this day is starting really bad. And I go downstairs, and I text the guys. I'm like, guys, this day just got much worse. Because oh, yeah. <laughs> I go downstairs, and there is about 50 police officers. There is forensics everywhere, but there is also fresh blood oh, no. right in front of my face. And in the beginning, I'm like, is this a joke? Like, is this like a movie scene? I, th mm. I actually genuinely thought someone's shooting a movie. Oh, and then I'm like, oh, okay, I'm just going to walk the other way. And the cop stops me. And he goes, you can't leave right now because this is a crime scene. And we're not interviewing people, but they're collecting evidence. So you can't leave because it's cordoned off. So you, could, you couldn't actually leave? I uh, couldn't leave area. the building. No. Okay. It's just literally around my building. So you were quarantined without COVID. <laughs> exactly. Yes. Wow. Yeah. 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 I'm the only one. <laughs> me and a bunch of Chinese old ladies. <laughs> <laughs> I will get to in a second because they are fucking amazing. <laughs> <laughs> so, But they said, like, you can walk around the cordon because I said I have to walk the dog. Right. He said you can walk around the cordon, but you can't leave the cordon. Okay, I understand. So I walked on Eastern Street. And the taxi was there, and there's a lot of blood everywhere. So much fresh blood. And I'm like, what the hell is going on? So I go back to the first officer, and I kind of make friends with him. I'm like, all right, seems like I'm stuck here for a bit. What happened? And he goes, okay, so about 5 a.m., 
uh, someone stabbed a taxi driver and you can see the taxi here and he came here in front of and he pointed at the fresh blood there is a big uh, like um like blood Puddle, yeah yeah of- patch kind of in front on on the on the platform in front of my gate and he said he bled out here and i said okay w- w- what do you know who the killer was he said no but he's a guaylo and then he paused he said like you oh my god <laughs> <laughs> I'm like all right. <laughs> so, uh, which part of your, yourself was going like, yes, I like the Guaylo relationship? That's exactly like, what I thought. My first people. thought, because in my stand up act, I talk about how I came here to be a Westerner. Oh, right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. So, I'm like, thanks for the validation. You think I'm a white person, <laughs> yeah. which is awesome. So, and then he goes, why don't you go back up to your place until we're done? And I have to explain to him, there's construction up in my house. I can't go. And he's like, yeah, you have construction? Someone just fucking died. So maybe stop complaining. I'm like, all right, fine. Why did he really say that? Well, he didn't say fucking. He said, like, you have, he made fun of me for complaining about the construction. Like, well, we're dealing with a murder here. Yeah. So, you know, can you? Okay, fair enough. Yeah, it's only death to your eardrums. Exactly. All... <laughs> you have a first world problem. Yeah, you know, that's you right. need to walk. And I'm like, yeah, of course, I am yeah. white. So I have first world problems. Yeah, yeah, that's the <laughs> He's like, are you complaining about that? You're so white. <laughs> so after a while, I started getting a little anxious. And then the the old ladies, they're amazing. The Chinese old ladies. Oh, no, I agree. Yeah. <laughs> they started characters. basically walking through the cordon because they're out for shopping at 10 a.m. Yeah, you don't the fr- care. The fresh no, vegetables, dude. The fresh vegetables. Yeah, not and happening. I can hear the argument. I understand Mandarin. I don't understand any Cantonese, but I can hear kind of like the gist of the conversation, mm-hmm. which is basically like, where are you going to like... We're going to the shop right now. Stop us if you want. And they just walk straight through and I just follow them. Oh. <laughs> yeah. And I just get out of there. You don't mess with the old Chinese. They're so women cool. Going shopping. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's yeah. like, no, don't French do it. Yeah, right? That stick they're holding is not for, you know, stability. It's like anytime you bother them, like, bang. <laughs> like, yeah. So this is the first part of the story. And then I went on with my day, dropped off my dog. And that was it until we heard the news, obviously. So the whole day I was talking to my friends about it because I basically told my friends before it was on the news even. Well, I'm sure you were traumatized. I didn't see any blood, etc. of course. To be honest, but... I, you know, I, I've seen a lot of it back in the day, so it doesn't, it okay. doesn't really faze me anymore. Like, I wasn't upset at the scene of the blood. I was just, like, annoyed that my day's ruined. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> put things in perspective. <laughs> yeah. my, my condolences to the taxi driver's family after with, with you saying, yeah, my day's ruined, dude. Oh, like, yes, could okay. you die? Yeah, yeah, yeah fair yeah, enough. Okay. But yeah, I get it. No, because, like, when I first saw the news, my first thought was, like, dude, like, how much did this guy try to rip him off that he got killed? You know, right. Like, did he yeah. not give the change back? It was like, you know, $40 and the guy's like, with my change. It's like, yeah, n- I'll kill you. Yeah, next time I actually argue with them about the, the, the change. I'm like, keep it, keep it, keep it. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. not going to do anything. It's fine. Yeah. I'm just walking away slowly yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, No, next time, like, the thing is, like, I have a running joke where whenever I take a taxi, when, whenever I do, <laughs> the rare occasion, every time I look at the meter, I'm like, please don't be like, please be a round figure. Because I don't want to lose the money to you. So I actually, like, as one of my jokes is that I keep the driver driving until it's round figure. Then I get out of the taxi. Oh, you are joking. Yeah. <laughs> you don't tip? No. T- tip taxi drivers? <laughs> yeah. This is the difference. This is a one. Well, one. Uh, uh, yeah, I leave, like, if it's, say, tr- $28 or $29. Don't yes, the fact, this is what us white people do. <laughs> <laughs> Top Wilo's anyway, you know. That's what I'm saying. I'm like, wait, this is how you work? Like, so you even tip with a round figure when it's 29, you give him 30 and like, you can let him keep the change? Absolutely, unless he's been a complete asshole wow. trying to take me the long way or he gets lippy. Yeah. Wait, you know? so you take a taxi to Lama? How does that no, work? No, it doesn't. <laughs> but, um, I, 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 I take taxis a lot in my job. Yeah. Um, and, you know, but basically most taxi drivers are really cool but i know that some locations i go to they will t- try and take me the long way back. Yeah, yeah right yeah. but i am um, oh i'm an expert how to get from a to b and i'm like okay junjo junyao yeah. check hoi mo no stop yeah right um if the, if i see they're trying to take me the wrong way yeah and generally speaking you know the taxi drivers will do that i know the quick way to get from every location sure yeah yeah um and so yeah i'll tip but then suddenly you'll get one that gets like really lippy Right. You know, yeah. like, no, I go straight. No, you turn left. Yeah. No, no, sorry, but no. Yeah. I'm in the taxi, turn left. Yeah, I'll tell you how it goes. And, and they'll get a bit argumentative. Then yeah. No, no, then I will wait until I get my 50 cents. I think actually yeah. this was you the know. first assumption for a lot of people when they heard about the incident. They just thought of the dispute between like taxi driver and, yeah. the, and the passenger because it happens so often, unfortunately. Right. It's just like taxi drivers and drunk foreigners, they always get in arguments. And yeah. it's just like... 
It's not great. Well, with me, when I catch taxis, I'm completely sober with my teacher head on. So right. you just don't mess with me. Right. You know, and I can speak yeah. enough Cantonese and I know exactly where I'm going. Yeah. yeah. So when they're trying to fob me off, like to take me all the way to North Point to come all the way back to Tai Hang, I'm like, yeah. no, it's not going to happen, mate. Right. Um, and if they argue with me, then no. If, yeah. if, if it's $25 and... 50 cents or 60 cents i will wait and then i'm looking for <laughs> 40 cents yeah i'm like cheeky bastard yeah. but, um, but generally you know i taxi drivers are cool and yeah. i'll give them a couple of dollars yeah because that was my first assumption i was like i bet you anything it was like probably like you know the meter said 34 37 dollars and 50 cents yeah 40 bucks the guy's like thank you it's like yeah. no no dude i want my change like no you don't need it yeah yeah the meter did say 80 dollars uh, uh, which uh, maybe you know more about it. Not than such me. a lucky number anymore, huh? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's not eighty, you know. Baba. <laughs> yeah. So okay, before we get into your uh, interaction with Matthew, is, is, that, is that his Matthew, name, right, Matthew? Yes. Um, how, uh, how long have you been living on Lama for? Um, well, I first lived on Lama in '88. Oh and, wow! Yeah, Whoa. exactly. You know, when I was young and all that stuff. Mm. Um, um, and then I left for a while, moved to other places in Hong Kong, uh, and then came back about 16, 17 years ago. So I think I've been in Lama over 20 years, but in Ooh. two different batches, let's say. Do you, right. get, do you have like, can you, if, if it were like Asia miles for the ferry, you'd be like platinum. Oh, level. absolutely. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I should get, you know, but I guess I'm going to have to wait for my geriatric OHP card oh. instead, you know? <laughs> yeah. Sadly. Wow. So. Y- y- You've seen Lama transform completely then from... Oh, yes. It's, yeah. I mean, I, I say that there are like four stages so far to Lama. Yeah. Um, I preferred the earlier one. It was, I was younger. It was more hippie-ish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, are you kind of the hippie type? I was back then. Okay. Now uh, I'm a nature person. Yeah. <laughs> still, still Lama. Still very Lama. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I go down and I look at the waves. I sit yeah. on the wow. sand and meditate. Is it the power station? Uh, power station. Yeah, yeah, but it's an ugly name. Um, we call it Dog Beach. The real name is Taiwan Toll Beach. Mm. Um, but it's a non-gazetted beach. Right, right. That's so it's a why. private beach, basically. Yeah, which is one of the reasons I love it. Because gazetted beaches... I no smoking, no kite, no football, no right, this, right, all these rules. No yeah. having fun. Yeah. Um, yeah. No dogs. Whereas the other beach, the community takes care of it. Right. Like cleans it up and. Yeah. Um, I've been a, a couple I, of times where I, like I always thought like I never got in the water because because of that plant there. I know. I thought I would grow like another limb or something. <laughs> go, yeah. <laughs> it just seems no. scary. It's all those episodes of watching The Simpsons. Growing exactly. Up, right. Yeah. yeah the nuclear plant. You're like uh, everything that's shaped like that. You know, they might not put the logo of the nuclear, but definitely <laughs> something. No, going it, on. it is true. But I think people just blank it out after a while yeah. because when I go there, I you know, I look to the left and it's beautiful and mm. most of my Facebook pictures, you know, it's really beautiful. So but people just look, look up right. Tracy and then they find you, right? Yeah, they call me, <laughs> they call me Tracy Cat Lady. <laughs> so, um, I, I, I feel like this whole technology we're using right now to, to kind of muffle your identity and everything is pointless. Where's I can't exactly, <laughs> I know. Go by just Tracy. Tracy on, on Lama. Just go. I mean, yeah. people can find you. If they just get off the ferry and go, hey, where's Tracy? Everyone's like, she's right there. Yeah. 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 Oh. yeah. They're all like, uh, <laughs> I don't know. I should be in the Blue Goose or Granny Chan's or at the beach, you know, yeah. somewhere. Somewhere yeah. looking at the waves. So are, are there other famous people on Lama, except for you? Um, you need to define famous. I mean, I don't, I don't consider myself Lama, famous. Lama famous. Lama character famous. Yeah, yeah. Oh, many. Absolutely many. So yeah. actually, this is a weird segue. I know people who are listening might be like, where is the fucking story? But, <laughs> but also, I'm, it's crazy because I just remember right now the one fight, like proper fight, police involved I had in Hong Kong since I came here was on Lama. I got okay. attacked by a person. You, you got attacked? I got attacked on Lama by a person you might know. I'm not going to say his full name or whatever. But Could you, you tell me off the record? I think, no, I, if I say what he does for a living, you'll probably know who he is. He's an Italian chef. Yes. Exactly. Oh. <laughs> He's a massive problem on Lama, as you know. Mm-hmm. Um, so, very, I'm not going to, this is not my episode. So, what happened very briefly is that I was on a hike with a friend of mine. Another friend of mine, who is a black lady, who lives on Lama, so I called her on my way, so the bar next to the ferry pier... Yeah, I, I know the yeah. whole story. Oh, you already Ooh. know the story, so yeah. that was me. I don't know if oh, you... Oh, was that you? you put the two... Th- I yeah. just have, but yes, yes okay. I... 
So Remember. I was there and I called my friend. I'm like, hey, I'm about to take the ferry. Can you stop by for a quick drink? And she's like, yeah, yeah. And we delayed our ferry. He's like, I will take the next one so we can hang out with her. We sat there and this person, the Italian chef, waves at her from outside of the bar. And I see her making eye contact with him and me thinking they both live on Lava. They definitely know each other. So I didn't even look at them anymore. He came and he started touching her. And I'm just reading her body language, and I can see she's visibly uncomfortable. And I'm like, hey, girl, do you know this guy? And she goes, no, I thought he's your friend. So there was a miscommunication oh, wow. there. Okay. She, sh- she said, I thought he's with you. I'm like, no, 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 I don't know. Her. And it escalated very quickly. I'm like, hey, get your hands off her. And he started calling her the N-word. He's directed all of his anger at me. And it was me and my buddy, who's from Singapore. He was professionally trained in the army. And he, the, my buddy was hell bent on like fucking this guy up right. and I'm like this is you're gonna make it worse so anyway this guy left both the girl and my friend and just directed all his anger at me and we just basically had a full on fight stuff was broken and whatever we called the police on Lama who were not very helpful to say the least uh, there was about four officers who came he was still going around like a bull yes he was Try, had, harassing everybody, screaming. I mean, he was st- he's telling me death threats while the police were there. I will kill you, all of these things. And I'm like, Guy, can you guys do something about it? He's like, yeah, yeah, we're taking statements. I'm like, are you serious right now? So anyway, my whole point of this is like, seems like Lama has a lot of characters because obviously, as you know, I put it up on Lama groups after that. But, but, but we don't have the toxic character. Is like that. I mean, that is no, but one he's of, someone... weird, funny, eccentric. I don't characters. think that this no, guy but not was, him. Yeah. No, no, yeah. no, he is not the usual. Yeah, so character. I started posting on the Facebook Lama groups, and <clears throat> everyone started messaging me privately saying, Oh, he's a known problem. Actually, that bar was pretty, li- pretty much the only bar that still allowed him because he's cut off from all the other bars. His wife messaged me apologizing on his behalf, and I think they're going through a divorce or something. I'm like, well, You don't have to apologize. I apologize on his behalf. She's Filipina. I had someone else message me saying that he normally calls Filipinos like slur words. And it's just like, I'm like, is this everyone on Lama? Like, what is no, going on there? No, I mean... But why does it attract certain character, certain like strange, weird characters? But uh, no, I, I don't think that Lama attracts strange, weird characters, especially not like that. The chef. Okay. I mean, that could happen anywhere. Right. I mean, you've got your assholes in every community, in every country. And mm. to me personally, he's an asshole. I think we, I think Lama attracts people that don't live quite the norm. You know, the nine to five jobs, mm. Monday to Friday, the um, 2.5 kids. Mm. Um, I think that it's always attracted like arty people or people that don't want to necessarily be on a treadmill every day kind of right. thing. So, so, no, I wouldn't say that it attracts weird, nasty characters. Okay, but well... Eccentrics, yeah, but I, I love my that. Criticism, <laughs> my criticism of, of the community then is that I, when I posted them, I, mo- I posted his name, and people right. took my post down, and it's like, oh, this is defamation or whatever. But also, as you know, it's a pretty small community. Everyone knew what happened. Yes. And I'm like, it's the guy. You yes. guys were there. And they're like, yeah, yeah, we know, but you can't post it. I'm like, all right. But then... It depends which forum. Yeah, let's not get into that more because apparently there's two Lama groups. One is like Lama and one is Lama Uncensored. Oh, But then he sent me to the Lama Uncensored one and my post got censored. And the people from the other group went, yeah, you fucking hypocrites. (laughs) You censored. (laughs) So I started the whole political thing. For your information, I left both forums (laughs) for this particular reason. Okay, last question about this particular person. Why was he not rejected from the community? Because well, as far as I understand, he has always been a problem. To be quite honest, uh, I remember the incident. Yeah. I remember reading about it. And uh, I'd heard through friends, because I had a couple of friends that were actually there at the time. Yeah. Um, and I thought, what an ass. You know, what a complete No, but I have asshole. messages right now from people saying, oh, he did that to me. He grabbed me. Like female people yeah. saying like he grabbed me mm-hmm. and I was telling I had a, a message from a lady who was there at the bar and she said I remember you you apologized to me because like I knocked down her drink or something she said incidentally I was telling my uh, partner that a man grabbed me by the ferry pier about a year ago and I turned around and it was the same guy who was fighting with you right and he's a common problem on the island 
Clearly, the police is not doing anything about it. I don't give a shit if I get in trouble for saying that. But they're not doing anything about him. But the community seems to kind of be protecting him. Honestly. No, I, I mean, I, I have to admit that um, it is a strong community. I mean, I love it. We have 64 different nationalities that mm. live on Lama in such a small place. And I, and I love that part about it. But again, I wouldn't say that this is a Lama thing. Mm. I would call it a small community thing. Mm. Um, now, most people I know know that he's a complete not a twat. Mm. But um, if you go to a bar or something, it's, it's a lot of people, not me, mm. would just rather keep the peace. Right. Um, mm. And I found it on forums as well. I've posted something that may be controversial mm. um, and there'll be no likes or comments, but I'll have hundreds of private messages. Right, mm. that's and kind I, of and what I, I, And I'm like, yeah. so why don't you just say that then? Mm. Oh, well, you know. Mm. Yeah. So like, that's one of the reasons I, I left the forums. Yeah. yeah uh, because I guess, it's like people are too scared or yeah. they don't want to offend someone or yeah. they don't want to look like they're taking sides. <laughs> yeah, it's, like, it, it's basically Desperate Housewives. <laughs> but I, I don't think this is a llama thing. I okay, think it's I, okay. A, let's. I, I am fine to walk that back and say it's not a llama thing. Okay. I think my my struggle here is the fact that he is not just a problem. He harassed multiple people who lived on llama, and it still seems like people are like okay with him being among them. He's not totally rejected. No, I don't. I don't think. I don't think uh, people are okay with him being around. But what do they do? I don't know. No, beat him up. There's a, there's a question. No, I am. I'm genuinely <coughs> saying, just beat him up, like teach him a lesson. Yeah. Okay. But um, generally, people just want to keep the peace, keep the quiet. I think. I think people need to ship him off to like another island and just leave him there. Yeah. You know? We should send him to DB. Oh. <laughs> he would that do well there. That actually might be it. <laughs> yeah. Then you'd have to bring him here to interview him. <laughs> oh yeah. No thanks. <laughs> yeah. All right. Let's. Uh, so let's get to you. So okay. be. Uh, when that happened, that was like Monday night is when the murder happened. How, when did you hear about it the first time? <clears throat> I think it was that morning. Um, That's Tuesday I know morning. That, uh, no. I think I... Well, in the morning, I'd get up and i read the news. But um, the Tuesday, I'm sure it was a passing story or headline, you mm. know, manhunt. And then on the Wednesday morning, again, I decided to read some articles and again, it was like, okay, a taxi driver's been killed by this chap. Everyone's searching for him. And they had a picture of him. But I didn't dwell on it. I didn't even notice his name. Mm. It was just like, wow, that's really tragic and shit. You know, poor taxi driver goes to work and some, someone stabs him to death. Mm. Um, so that was the extent of what I knew. There's a guy on the loose mm. uh, being hunted. That was it. That's all I knew. Right. And I didn't think much more. And it was a typhoon. Things are like... There, there wasn't information that he had uh, schizophrenia or anything like that at the time. But mm. still, it was just like he got into a cab, chopped the poor taxi driver's neck, yeah. which was horrific. Yeah. And they were looking for him. And that's all I knew. Ah. Uh, but it was a typhoon on Wednesday. Mm. You know, you don't... You don't think that you're going to read the news and that person's going to turn up in your vicinity. Yeah, right? yeah, you know? of course. So, uh, in a yeah. city of like almost 8 million people, well, it's I, quite unlikely. Well, one of the things the next day after the incident is <clears throat> being a, a Lama girl, we, we're generally friendly. And mm. I almost offered him my sofa as a crash pad. <gasps> wow. Wait, wait, so let's, let's backtrack a yeah, bit. Okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. So let's backtrack. So you're working from home or are you not out of Lama because of the typhoon? Okay, well, I'll give you the setting because yeah, many yeah. people get confused. Yeah, exactly. Um, it's, it's, you know, it's, it's an outlying island and on, we have local mom and pop kind of shops mm -hmm. and right next to my home is the corner store mm. where you buy your basic supplies, your milk, your cat food, your beer, rice. Mm. Um, but it also has tables outside. Um, because it's on private land. So sometimes hikers pass through at the weekend and stop with a bottle of water, sit down. Sometimes locals on the way home, especially during COVID and social distancing, will sometimes sit down, buy a beer, have a beer, continue heading home. So it's that kind of environment. Mm. Um, so I had met him the lunchtime. 
So, okay, were you out of your house to buy stuff or were you just yeah. out for a beer? No, I mean, it was a typhoon age and it was still windy, but uh, mm. around 12 o'clock, I was like, okay, I need to get out of the house again. Yeah. Mm. So I called the corner store because I have their number and mm. said, what time are you opening? Are you opening today? Mm. And they said, yes, we'll open at one. Uh, and then the rain stopped and the wind stopped. And yeah. So I just went out between one and two. I can't remember what I bought. Mm. You know, cat food, whatever. Yeah. Cigarettes. Um, yeah. And then a beer. Yeah. So I sat down and, and one of the tables outside as I do regularly. Yeah. You're and, by yourself. Well, yeah. But when I turned up, there was a, a table like this one and then mm. there was a table in front of me. Right. Um, but there were two regular Lama people there also that also stop occasionally. Right. Uh, for a drink. So you recognize their faces right away. Yeah. There were three, yeah. There, there were three people at the table and two of them work locally so mm. i turned up oh hi you know we're making small talk finally the rain has stopped mm. yeah uh, it was still t8 yeah um and there was no canopy the canopies had been taken down but the weather was nice breeze rain mm. has stopped and i assumed that this guy matthew was mm. with the other two so was he sitting on the same table he was sitting at the same table yes right. was he chatting he, with he them? was calm he was just like chilling yeah I mean, wow. I, I can't remember ha him having a conversation. All mm. I remember is I sat down at one table and there were no, hi guys, finally the rain has stopped. And right. he turned around to me and said, yeah, the weather's quite nice now. So we just right. got chatting. What, what's, what's his accent? Well, it, it, at first I said, where was he from? Mm. And he'd said South Africa. And I said, I can't detect a South African accent. He sounded English to me. Mm. But um, the more he talked, I was like, oh, well, hang on, I can, I can detect. And you caught one word here, one word there. You're like, yeah, oh, I know but that. it wasn't strong. Right. So when you walked in, you said hi, he turned around and he responded to your small talk. Mm -hmm. Did he then move over to your table and continue talking? Or? No, he just turned his chair around. Right. Okay. Yeah. So now it's him talking to you and then the other two guys are also just kind of there. Yeah, they're having their own conversation. Right. So what's, what's your chat? Like, walk me through the entire chat as, as much as you can remember. You know, basically, bear in mind, you know... Uh, on Lama, people are friendly. People turn up, they stop, and I've had it many times. People are going maybe to Sokwan or they're doing hike over to the other island, and they'll stop and they'll say, how do I get to this beach? Mm. Um, so with him, it was just general small talk about um, the weather. Mm. You know, it finally stopped raining. It was also the second typhoon in one week, which is a bit crazy. Mm. Um, and, and I got the gist from him that he was over on Lama, for a couple of days, which is normal. Mm. You know, people come over. Yeah, um, staycation and, kind of thing. Yep, and he'd come over to spend time with his cousin who lived on Lama, he told me. Mm. Um, so to me, it's just like, okay, somebody's over for the day, staying with their cousin, mm. and we, we got chatting. But I can't recall many details. It was just kind of small talk about Hong Kong, about the weather, about living on Lama. Mm. Mm. Um, he did. He did look like he was going to get into his ideas on conspiracy theories, though, because um, he'd said that he was a software uh, engineer developer. I develop. Okay, mm. yeah, yeah. And I said, okay. And I, I said to him, oh, don't talk to me about that because I'm I'm pretty crap at technology. You know, mm. I am just not good at IT. And then he started telling me about. Um, of course, microchips and they're monitoring us. Et did he just like, did it go kind of from zero to a hundred? Like, like no, nice small no, talk. And no. then he, you hear the X-Files anthem. Yeah. In the background. yeah. I mean, that part didn't last very long. And then he mentioned the new world order. And I just mm. said to him, oh, okay, come on. You know, did you think he was just kind of like fucking around, like joking? Like, no, do you know, to be quite honest, I know so many people that either believe in gang stalking, which apparently he does, or New World Order, or QAnon, for God's sake. They're even QAnon. Are they all on Lava? Not all of them, not all of them. I was just messing with you. But, um, you know, people that have strange ideas, you know, right. I'm used to. It's part of the richness of life, you right. know, so I have no problem chatting. And then mm. I said, no, New World Order. And he said, don't you believe in it? And I said, so you're telling me like a bunch of white men run the world? Why mm. are they all white? You know? <laughs> right. And he said, no, Russia as well. And I said, they're white. Yeah. But we're just having a really nice So it's like, banter. was it a nice banter? Yeah, like his demeanor was friendly? He was, he was so sweet and gentle. He was a lovely, to me, he was just like a young chap. Mm. You know, he's over for Lama. He's what was sweet. he wearing? Um, well, I, I can't recall at 
the lunchtime. I can't recall at lunchtime mm. at all. Mm. Um, and I only took note later that night when I started chatting with him again. Okay, yeah. So you got into the conspiracy and you're like, come on, don't be ridiculous. And whatever, but, you're having a banter. But then, but then suddenly, bearing in mind, you know, it was still a Typhoon 8. There was no mm. canopy. There was a huge, almighty clap of thunder. Mm. Um, and uh, like I said, I was about to say to him, because it was Typhoon 8, he, mm. he told me that he couldn't find his cousin. Again, I assumed maybe he's just out for the day and yeah. you don't have a key. Mm. Um, so I was about to say, listen, if you want to spend some time at my place mm. until you find him. Yeah. Yeah. Because um, that's the kind of thing I would do. Yeah. But then fortunately, my flat was a mess. I hadn't even swept the floors. And I, you know, I, I'm kind of house proud. Mm. I'm not going to invite anyone over. <laughs> yeah. The place is a and mess. And this is why you don't clean your floors. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Automatically exactly. stops murderers from coming to your house. <laughs> they, well, Alleged well, murderers. I, I Alleged, need to yeah. rethink Alleged. that yeah. friendliness. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Honestly, yeah. I know. Yeah. I know. <laughs> yeah. People tell my New World Order and stuff. The last thing you need yeah. is them coming to your house. Like, you want to crash my, on my couch? Like, yeah. Yeah. No, New World Order is not as bad as Q. So, you know. <laughs> if it had been a queue, well, no, I would have got up walked away because that's yeah. a bit too much. <laughs> so um, how long did this chat well, last no, for? Well, we just started chatting and then suddenly sh torrential rain. Right, okay. With no warning. So everybody just got up and left. And okay. Th and that was it. And that, including you, you just went home? Yeah. And what did you say to him? Just well, like, see you later? Or no, well, I just got up and I just said, go take shelter in one of the bar's restaurants because they were open. Oh, because you didn't want to offer him your place. Got it. Yeah. Okay. So suddenly, I mean, this this torrential downpour started suddenly and, and everybody just jumped up and left. Yeah, you ran home. And I said, okay, see you later. Go to the village. And did he tell you his name? Um, I can't remember. Okay. I really can't remember. Yeah. If he'd have had a dog and told me the dog's name, I would have remembered that. <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty crap with human names. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So you go home. Yeah. It's raining outside, whatever. Yeah. And then what happens? So I went home. And then in the afternoon, I went to the beach uh, because the weather was nice. The beach is only five minutes walk from my home. Mm. The shop is only one minute from my home. I mean, mm. it's literally the corner. Um, so I... Came back from the beach around 6.30 and I knew the shop was closing at 7.30 because mm. I'd asked them. And so I went back to pick up some more supplies um, and sat down again and he was there. Mm. So mm. we started... Still happening. hadn't found his cousin yet. Well, this is the thing. At the time, I mm. noticed he was soaking wet and I said, where did you go when you left here? Mm. And he said, oh, I, he'd gone to the ferry pier, but there were no ferries. Mm. And I said, well, yeah... I know. And I, I, and then I said, didn't you go to any of the bars where there would have been shelter? Mm. And he said, no. And I also even then figured, you know, maybe he didn't have any money and was too embarrassed to mm. say. Mm. Right. You know, and then he said, th but then he started saying things. So I was like, oh, hang on a minute. Mm. He said to me, um, I'm stranded here for three days. And I said, why? And he said, there aren't any ferries. And I thought it was a weird thing to say. Mm. And I said, well, the ferries have already started. It's T3 now. Yeah. And they would never stop for three days anyway. Yeah. Mm. And he went, oh, okay. So I gave, I told him the ferry times. Um, but I thought it was a strange thing to come out with. Mm. And especially sitting in wet clothes. Yeah. Was he drinking still? Like, did he uh, sound... I, ca I can't recall if he had a drink at lunchtime. Mm. Because the, the guys who work locally, there were a few drinks, water bottles, sure. coke yeah, yeah. on the table. But I don't know whom they belong to. Yeah, okay. So um, he's there soaking wet. Uh, yeah. Saying something about the ferry that kind of doesn't make any sense, mm -hmm. and you give him the ferry time, and then what happens? And he said, No, no, no. So I said, um, Did you find your cousin? Mm. And he said, No. And I said, Do you want to use my phone? Yeah, to call. Yeah. Mm. You know, give him a call. And he said, No, I, I don't have the number. And okay. Said, so it's the mm, second kind of, yeah. Conspiracy theory. <laughs> I know. Yeah. <laughs> so I asked him, um, you don't have your uncle's number? And he said, no. And I said, Do you, does he have Facebook? I'm sure he has Facebook. Mm. No. And I said, okay. I said, did you actually see him yesterday? And he said, no. Mm. Mm. And I said, so you just decided to turn up and come to Lama on the off chance of bumping into him? And he said, yes. Now, Matthew came across as very smart. Mm. Mm very lovely, and there was a change in his demeanor. At lunchtime, we had a wonderful chat. Mm. You know, um, but I was like, huh, wet clothes. Yeah. As I met his cousin. So again, I said to him, listen, I, I really think you should go back home. Mm. 
oh, the ferries have started, yeah. you've been in wet clothes. And he went, no, he was like adamant. Um, and then I was thinking, okay, weird. Where Did he say where he's from? Like, well, which I think part? The, fi the final penny dropped when he did. Yeah. Because I said to him, listen, seriously, you need to go home. Yeah. You've had wet clothes. You really, really. And you're obviously being just like caring. Like, yeah. you're a little older than him. So you're yes. like, yeah, just being nice and friendly. Like, hey, man, just go home. Like, yeah. what are you doing? Absolutely. Right. Um, and then he said, no. Um, and I said, whereabouts do you live? And he said, Sai Ying Poon. Mm. And for some reason, the yeah. Sai Ying Poon. That was their bell. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it had been little things leading up that yeah. didn't make sense to me when he said Sai Ying Poon. I remember thinking, fuck no. Oh, it's no, this guy. No, this cannot be. Yeah, weird. and you're thinking like, I just wanted to get a drink. This guy's yeah. gonna, oh, I got to yeah. do all this work now. Ah, oh. Right, okay. So did you have a moment like when you saw that in your brain thinking like, what if I pretend I did not notice and I walk away? Or were you immediately like, I got to do the good, the right thing? Well, the first thing was like, fuck, I need to check this really is him. Yeah. Right, yeah. Uh, because my brain started doing somersaults. Yeah. It was like, no. Right, right. This can't be him. So I, I went home. Um, I Wait, what was your excuse to go home? Like when you're chatting? Oh, uh, yeah. You so know, you're like, I'm did you say, beer, I'll, I'll come back? Yeah. So in your well, head... I'm actually, just, actually, I can't recall if I said I'm coming back. Mm. But he knew I lived just around the corner. Right. Yeah. So in your, but your intention was to go home, check yes. and if it's him. Yes. But you wanted to come back to him in case it yes. is him. Okay. Yes. So um, I went home, got on the computer blew up the picture of face and thought, oh, my fucking God, that it is, is him. Ah. So I, I called the police from my home. Mm. Um, and, and I know the time, and it was 7.16. But at the same time, I'd also arranged, I have a lovely elderly neighbor mm. um, that sometimes passes by at night to get his supplies. Mm. And I rang him and I was like, don't go, don't go to... Mm. We call it grannies. Yeah. yeah. Don't go to grannies. And I was a bit agitated mm. at this point. Mm. Um, so uh, he said, I have to. And I went, okay. So I went back and I, I called the police. And I think there was a 10 minute break from calling the police and me getting back or eight minutes. So I got back and I was like, have wait, 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 okay, slow, slow down. W when you called the police, what did you say? What did they say to you? Like, what was that conversation? Well, the first number I called was 999. Mm -hmm. um, and I just uh, explained that I think this is the man. Mm. Um, and they were asking... How, do they pick up real quick or do they have like nice music to make you... No, wait? it was a 999. I didn't call the Lama police post. I oh, okay. called okay. directly 999. Right. So, so it was quicker. It's, yeah, it's quicker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I just explained. They asked me questions. Um, and then I went back. And when I got back, my friend Jeff had just turned up. The so, older gentleman. Yeah. Yeah. And I was like, like I say, really. And you had already explained to Jeff, like, what you have seen. Or and did the, you just tell the, him not to go to Granny's? And well, I, I told him, oh, my God, the, the murder. I think it's him at Granny's. I've just called the police. Mm -hmm. um, okay. And, and sorry I, to keep interrupting. But yeah. what did the police say? What, did, like, did you just take the information and then, like, okay? Well, I think... Seriously, I had like six phone calls with the police. Mm. No, but okay, this is when I really want to slow down here. Okay, but you need to be more specific because okay, I had six so phone calls. Okay, so the first phone call, mm -hmm. you said, hey, uh, the guy you're looking for is here. My name is blah, blah, blah. He's in this particular location. What did the, the operator say? Well, they were asking me questions. Are you sure it's him? And I'm like, well, I'm 99% sure it's him. Okay. Can you send someone? And they asked details. What was he wearing? And, and I was like, I really don't know. He's wearing jeans. Yeah. Um, and, and they were asking me questions, but I was getting a bit pissed off. I was like, just send someone. Right. Yeah. You know, he could, I, he'd be gone by the time you show up. And, and he was. Uh. So, um, so I'm like, can't you just send someone? Right. You know, don't ask me, what color is his hair? How tall is he? Mm. Because it looked like they were going to get to that point. Right, right. Whereas I just was like, just just. So this is all on the first call. The first call. Right. And um, did, 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 was there a resolution, like a call to action? Like, okay, we're going to send someone? Yes, yes, there was. They said uh, they would send someone and contact also the Lama police. So the Lama police did call me 10 minutes later. And you're still in the house or did you go no, back? No, I was, I was heading back. But hmm. what happened was when I got back there, um, my neighbor was there, hmm. but Matthew wasn't. Hmm. And I said to him, have the police been? Hmm. And he said, yes, three 
Lama police who just passed through the area looked around mm. and I said did they ask you any questions and he said no mm. so I went to the shop and I said the police were here did they ask you any questions and they said no so I got back on the phone mm. and I, I was a bit pissy yeah I, and you called 999 or the no, Lama police because the Lama uh, police post had called me asking me the same questions right and they had sent someone out right but I was in the middle of like turning off the rice cooker and packing up food for my neighbor. So I was gone for about eight minutes mm. or so. But the Lama police did pass by mm. while I wasn't there. Um, and that was it. They'd gone. So I went back to onto the path to call the Lama police going, well, why didn't you question anybody? He mm. was here. Now he's gone. So I sat back down and was giving my neighbor an earful, like, oh, my God. Right, I did let him go, basically. Or... Well, I, I don't know what happened. I wasn't there to see it, but I... would But in your it. head, you're pissy about the fact that they did not come on time or did not question anybody. No, I, I can't recall what I was thinking at that right. time. Right, okay, it, uh, fair. So um, I sat back down, then Matthew turned up again. Right, he just walks in. Yep. Okay. And I was like, oh, shit. Mm. So I went back out and called the police again. He's here. By is he this... not? Oh, is Matthew not noticing that you're acting up, like you're going in and out? Well, no. But while I was sat there chatting with him, um, my phone rang, and I could yeah. see it was the police. Right. And I said to him, "Oh shit, a parent. Mm. Excuse me a moment." Right. So I. So went... that's the Lama police again. Oh uh, no, it was a different number. Right. Okay. And then. So. So then I went onto the path, of course. Mm and was calling them and when i came back i just went oh bloody parents you know because yeah. i didn't want him to know i was yeah. speaking with the police so okay what was the conversations with the police then same asking me the same questions is it matthew Choi? do you think it's him what is he wearing how tall is he where is he mm. um i think by the fifth phone call i lost my temper and actually said oh fuck it i give up yeah um, it's the like same thing over your guys. Like, yeah, but there were all different people calling. Me. Right, yeah. right. So I was getting calls, but it was the same questions. Yeah. And mm. then I, I really did lose my temper by that yeah. point. Mm. They're probably looking at the same manual, like any call center, right? Yeah. They, for all you know, they probably even outsourced that to a call center. Maybe. Right? And they're like, okay, this is in chapter India. one. Yeah, in India. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah. this is for but Hong um, Kong. So Indian man put on a Chinese accent. Uh, yeah. <laughs> what is this, height? <laughs> yeah, but um, no, that was it. I, was, I got really, really angry and i do recall saying fuck it right give up completely give wow. up yeah uh but then eventually because i mean everyone was very professional on the phone but it yeah. seemed like there was no liaison it was like this person is asking me the yeah. same questions as this person and this person and this person mm. and i actually screamed at one lady because she'd said to me so madam when was the last time you saw him and i said i've just fucking told you yeah here, just, now yeah yeah oh so exactly where is he uh. madam yeah. And I'm like, you know, I can see him. Yeah, he's you're like he's right there at this place that I and told I've you about. I already told you. Yeah. Right, yeah. right. So, um, but and the no cops in sight at the time. No. He just Matthew sitting there, your neighbor is there. Yeah. Was he close to Matthew or was he just kind of like Well, so? he, we were just sat at the same table right. and Matthew was about Actually this uh, this time was different as well because at lunchtime he sat at the next table mm. and he was all jovial and yeah. sweet but it was strange because he was sitting far away on a chair by himself. Right. Mm. Um, and his demeanor had changed. Not not horrid, he'd, yeah. but someone who's been in wet clothes all day, you know, yeah. and hungry Just like, maybe. Yeah. 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 So um, a little miserable. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, so you basically got mad at the police. Like, mm -hmm. hey, I told you he's right here. I can see him right now. What mm -hmm. did they say? Well, basically at that moment, I turned around and the police were already turning up. Right. Ooh. And that's like, that's the, the backup from not the Lama police, but the no, no, it was the Lama police. Oh, first. it was the Lama police. It was the Lama How police. many officers? Three. Okay, and then did you go back to see the interaction, or were yes. you still on the phone? Okay, so I mean, I, I was, I was at a table like this, and mm. it was happening over there. Matthew right. was sat on a chair. Right. Before they'd arrived, you know, I'd said to him, "Would you like a beer?" Because I had beer in my bag. You right. Know, so I gave him. a was beer. Was the intention I'd... to keep him, keep him there? Well, I. The, the, he never really gave the impression that he was about to leave. Right, mm. yeah. So, you know, I would offer anyone a beer if the shop shut. Yeah. Huh. So, okay. wait, so you were on your phone with the police and then you saw three police show up. Yeah, because I was on the path, basically. Wow, so this shop. is like, that's so meta. You're yeah. talking to them, like, show up. They're like, we're there. It's like, whoa. Yeah, yeah so I'm, while I'm, I'm getting a bit pissy on the phone, mm. I turned around. Okay, they're here. You know, okay. Bye. And oh, then, dude, this, like, 
like, if this was a movie right now, mm-hmm. this would be the perfect time to you know like how they always do the, the cliffhanger at the end. Yeah, they yeah. Showed yeah. up, but what happened? Yeah, come, yeah. Come, come. <laughs> <laughs> you all go to the the yeah. power plant. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah exactly. And yeah. Have a happy dance. Yeah, he comes back out as a superhero. <laughs> He's got a radioactive power yeah. or something. See, this is not very comedy. This is like quite a depressing. Um, <laughs> well, event- eventually we're gonna get to the story, and there is not so much comedy in it. Yeah. So okay. we kind of got the comedy out in the beginning. Yeah. Talking about Lama and all of that, but obviously the story. There is nothing funny about it. Like I have to say, yeah. I know. Oh, we're saying, hang on, we're, we're all laughing here, and it's not really. No, no, we were laughing at earlier stuff, but right now, yeah, yeah, there's nothing funny. So, okay, so okay. did you hear the interaction between the Lama police, the three officers, and Matthew? No, but I, c- I could see it. Okay, uh, very, very. Clearly. What, what was happening? Well, um, when I turned around, three Lama police officers turned up. They were very calm. They were very professional. Mm. They walked up to him, asked to see his ID. Mm. Um, and he made no attempt to move. He was still really chilled. Yeah. Maybe he was waiting to be arrested. I have no idea. Mm. But I, I turned to Jeff and I was going, oh, fuck. If it's not him, I'm doomed. Oh, fuck. What if it's not him? What <laughs> right, if it's right. Oh, oh, oh. So I was like freaking Were you out. worried that you look racist? Yeah. Maybe that you called they the police the, the wrong guy? No, because anyone that knows me knows that I'm not. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. no. Um, okay. Except for the three policemen, like, uh, she's racist. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, I was, I was a fuck off, you know what yeah. I mean? Because, you know. Um, <laughs> okay, so when they asked for his ID, did he give his ID? Yeah, no, he was very, very calm. I watched it. He took his ID out. Did he use two I, hands? Was he polite with two hands or just one hand? You know, like giving cards well you need two hands to take your wallet out basically. Ah, that's true okay. I'm always yeah. curious like, I always wonder like when people give their ID cards do they do it two hands I maybe they would actually hands. let him go well, but then he give it with... where you hand it yeah, I, two yeah. Fingers. Um, I, I can't recall <laughs> but I know he needed two hands to take <laughs> it out of his wallet yeah. okay so he took his, takes his ID out everything was calm the police were calm uh, everything was fine and by then I'm like oh fuck what if it's not him what if it's not him oh my god um, and then a few minutes later, because I, I know how the police were, they were doing a Ponix check. Mm. <clears throat> and then a few minutes later, they asked him to get down on the floor and they handcuffed him. It's the same him. three officers. Yes. Yeah. And I went, oh, fuck, it is him. Mm. Because I knew that once the Ponix check must have come through. Not yeah. that he did it, but he is the man that they are looking yes, for. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Um, let's keep that straight, innocent until proven. Absolutely. Guilty. It's alleged, alleged. Yeah. Murder. So, no, they asked him to get down. He got down on the floor. They handcuffed him. Everything was really calm. Uh, there was no, basically, no witnesses except for you and Jeff. Yeah. Like, there is not a lot of people. There is no scene, basically. No, for that point, there was only yeah. me and Jeff. You know, yeah. the Italian chef needs to take a lesson over here. Yeah. This guy was calm. He was getting arrested. He was like, no problem. He was my yeah. car, do everything. Italian chef couldn't even handle a simple, you know, like, day out of the bar. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, maybe, yeah, take lessons. No, he was, you know, so even though I knew... Okay, he's definitely the guy. It made me feel a bit better. It's like, mm. okay, he may not have done it, but he is the guy they are looking right, for. Yeah, so yeah. that made me feel okay, better. But then I just felt incredibly sad. Yeah. Just watching him. And I'm thinking, even when he was talking with me mm. after I'd called the police, you know, my, my brain was going crazy on this side. I'm thinking this poor taxi driver went to work one morning and this happened. Yeah, it's that, horrific, yeah, horrific. It's definitely horrific. And on the other side, I'm looking at Matthew thinking, no, you can't have done it. He was just so sweet and clever and I could not get my head around the fact Yeah, the connection, that yeah. How is that possible, it. yeah. Mm. Well, um, I, I, like, but I knew he was the one. But then the riot police turned up. Right. Ooh. Yeah, like, this wow. is when the parade came, basically. Oh, wow, yeah, that yeah. was, like, big. So <laughs> so at what point, like, when all this was happening, were you ever, t- like, if this was, if I were in your position, honestly, there would be a moment in my head where I'm like, I got to turn around, put on shades, and walk away. You know, yeah. Like, <laughs> I, like, no. I, you never did. Oh, man, I would have totally done that just, <laughs> just for one second, just to be like, I did that. I walked away with the background <laughs> of the police pulling him away. And yeah, like, oh, yeah. You know, and then the, so for some reason, I was just see credits rolling up on my face. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. No, I don't, I don't it's know. It's like the end I of mean, a CSI episode. That's what I mean, yeah, yeah. yeah. They got him. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I sat there, and it, to be quite honest, when the riot police turned up, it was really impressive. You know, they're standing there, military with their yeah. shields, yeah. you know, and they made a big cordon. Right. Around the whole area. Did all women get to go past it? Well, people have to walk past to get home. <laughs> right. There yeah. is a path. Yeah, of course. To the there's ferry. A path between, there's a path between the, the shop and the seating area. Yeah. Um, and it was like military precision. It looked quite impressive, if right. not for the. And he's drama. there, like, sat with the three officers. Yeah. Just He's yeah. on the floor still? Yeah. Okay. And then they just cordoned off the place looking really 
yeah. super tough in that. And uh, of course, people were stopping as they were did passing. Did people interview you? Like, did the police talk to you? Or did they know? Did, did well, they know uh, no, no, you were uh, the one who called? Yeah, well, what happened is people were passing and the, the riot police were stopping them. Move on, move on. Mm, right, um, right. They didn't and, want the crowd and whatnot. Yeah, yeah. and um, basically one of the riot police came up to me mm. and he said, um, sorry, you need to leave. Right. And I said, I'm not leaving. I'm yeah. Tracy. Yeah. I told you. I'm <laughs> waiting forever. And I'm not going until I finish my drink. Right. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I promise I won't take any pictures. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, and wow. the, the, the policeman smiled at me and said, okay. Oh, so with the, you're like, you're like, I'm the reason you're here. Yeah. yeah was, and I'm, I'm going to finish my beer. Thank I'm you so Tracy. much. I'm Tracy. I've been waiting for you guys. You yeah. Know. So, um, so that was fine. And then he, he left. And when Matthew left, you know, it was... Did he make eye contact with you? No. I, I, I just felt really sad. It's like one part, if you did do this, that's horrific. And on the other side, I thought, oh, my God, I just caused this to happen to you. So it was a very strange and upsetting sensation. I can imagine. You know, what? I couldn't get my head around the fact that it, he could have done it. Or yeah. if he did, that is incredibly sad on its own as mm. is the tragic death of the taxi driver. So my m emotions were just all over the place. Oof. And then they left and the policeman spoke with me. Um, Did he ask you what he looked like? <laughs> <laughs> um, they already knew at that point. Um, no, they were, they, the police were really sweet. Mm. Um, and it, actually when they turned up, even arresting Matthew, they mm. were... Pretty cool. I was expecting gung ho, roughy toffy, and uh, right, right. No, they maybe it's because I was watching. Yeah, you know, yeah so yeah. I better not piss her off. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> you, yeah. you know, um, but that was all done professionally. Then they went to the village, and I went home. Mm. Wow, yeah. there is so much to get into, but we're running out of time. There is a few things. Mm. Obviously, the media. There is a couple of stories that were not depicted correctly. Mm -hmm. Your story was kind of like skewed or or told incorrectly and you said off record it's like off the mark the stories you yes. told something can you very quickly tell us what how wh what happened when you started talking to the media and oh why no, were... they, 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 this is the reason i spoke with the media because mm. on the wednesday night um media i was getting facebook messages through media for an interview mm. and i said no 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 i just wasn't interested it was mm. like okay whoosh, enough drama tonight right and i wanted to keep a low profile because i just did what I did. Right. I didn't need the, hey, look what she's done kind of thing. Right, right, right. That's not me. So um, I said no. But the next day when I was going to work, many of my Chinese friends said that the story was in the press. Mm. And some of the stories were funny. Um, I think in translation, you know, like this guy was caught by an eye-catching Western woman. Hey. I'm like, hey. I'm like, oh, whoa, I'm eye-catching. Like, um, You're like, this is off mark, but I like it. It's yeah, good. I know. And then another one that, you know, he'd been intercepted at the ferry pier. But the best one was like one, one story kind of implied that I, I, I was in a bar, you know, <laughs> and like kind of... When I, when I read it, when it was translated, I said, oh, great. It looks like I was in a bar trying to pick him up and plying him with beers. Not only does that make me a floozy, but bloody cougar. <laughs> you know? Um, and I was like, so I decided, okay, put the record straight, which mm. I did with two news media. Yeah, so we'll get to the news media, but that's going to have to be on the Patreon because we're exactly at the one hour mark. Okay. Uh, Tracy, thank you so much for your time. Okay. Um, it's Obviously, nice to be here. You two are pretty cool, actually. Uh, oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> we'll cut that out. We'll use that for the promo of this episode. Okay, <laughs> you two are pretty cool. Hey. That's all we need. <laughs> uh, she got, makes a call to the police after that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, mean, I think we might be kind of screwed yeah, after this. Watching. People are a bit scared of me now. <laughs> like, okay, turn that music down. Yeah. She might call the police. <laughs> <laughs> she has a direct line now. Yeah. Uh, yeah, thank you so much. Obviously, it's, it's a pretty messy story and you have a lot of mixed feelings about it mm -hmm. but we're grateful that you made it out here and you kind of set the record straight so thanks for your time hey nice to meet you cheers <laughs>